Before we get started, I just want to say that Halara, if you see this, okay, I don't care if I love every piece that I got. You do not have my permission to use my video clips as an ad unless you run me a check. That's it. That's my intro. Hi, I'm Amanda. You're watching Soul Entertainment. And before anyone comments, that was like a really entitled opening. Probably, yes. However, I am 90% certain that most of the people you see in these Halara ads or a bulk part of the TikTok ads in general that get constantly pushed onto my feed are not actually being paid and they were either sent free stuff in exchange for making these brands content and advertisements or they were just like, hey, can we use your video? And they're like, yeah, sure, because they don't know any better. They don't know that they should be charging and that they could be making money from doing this. So I'm gonna be the one. Halara, you can't use my video clips unless you run me a check. And that's only if I like this stuff, okay? Okay. But first, let me thank the sponsors for this video, Native. Native sent me even more deodorant because they know that there's a heat wave out here in LA and climate change is slowly taking it out on all of us sweaty people. Great thing about this sponsorship with Native is that they not only sent me their great deodorant that is still vegan and cruelty-free, but they sent me their new line of plastic-free deodorant. This is their new rosé scent. And so it's just a paper tube, you just pop off the top, and then instead of a twist up or anything, you just push down the bottom here and it comes right up. And like I already said, Native is vegan and cruelty free. It's also aluminum and paraben free and is made of simple ingredients like shea butter and coconut oil. Native sent me their rosé, their coconut and vanilla, their lavender and rose, and also their key lime and sugar. They have a wider selection of scents, but they also have a limited edition fall scent line that just dropped. Native doesn't just have deodorants, they also have body wash and toothpaste. Make sure to check out Native's new limited edition coffee house collection. Three deodorants are usually $36, but if you use my link down below and code SWELL, you can get them for $24. That's 33% off. And with the code SWELL, you also can get 20% off all toothpaste and body wash on Native. Thank you again, Native, for sponsoring this video. So as you guys know, I do my I Tried It So You Don't Have To series here on YouTube. A lot of you guys seem to think that I don't do that series anymore, but that's just because I don't put the title I Tried This So You Don't Have To anymore, but it's all in the same playlist, okay? It's all I Tried It So You Don't Have To. Oh my God, I'm talking really fast. Do you guys like my Michael Myers cup? It says, I'm a stalker, not a talker with Michael Myers. Swell slasher September, guys. I would say, MFers, but I can't swear this early in the video because I'll get demonetized. <laughs> anyway, but my point is, is that I review products that are often routinely pushed to me on YouTube, Instagram, and the like. And I don't know why I've never been like, oh, I should review TikTok products, especially because I criticize the TikTok um, algorithm a bit, but specifically the creator fund and how they've upped the amount of ads that they run on your For You page. And I was like, holy crap, what am I doing? I'm missing out on so many products that I could be reviewing so that you guys don't have to because that's what I do, okay? <laughs> I'm so tired. Anyway, my For You page has been inundated with Halara influencer type video reviews and all of that. The thing is though, is that I'm 90% certain, like I said in my opening, that the women specifically being featured in these uh, ads and all that are not being paid for that. And I'm just not a fan of that, but also they've been pushing it to me enough times. And that is how you get me to not buy your product, but to review your product. You just inundate me with the same three ads multiple times for what? I get some people want to wear skirts when they work out. I really don't. I'm not one of those people. Like I'm trying to be more girly because I do like when I dress more girly as I'm sitting here wearing jeans, uh, socks, so you don't get free food pics and my Jaws t-shirt that I got from the men's section like eight years ago. But I'm trying to be more girly because I really do like being girly and I feel good when I'm like drawled up and looking pretty, okay? I feel good doing that, okay? But however, when I'm working out, my goal is to sweat. It's not my goal is to work out. It's not to be like, look at my skirt. However, I do like that they all have pockets. So I got a, hold on. I got a bunch of stuff because their ads keep pushing me a variety of things. And yeah, so I got a variety of things because I thought they only had like the dresses and the skirts with the shorts underneath. But no, it's like a whole drop shipping site. And I will say drop shipping because that's what it's looking like. Whatever I don't like, whatever I'm not gonna keep, I will be either donating or um, gifting. I don't think I can do a giveaway because I mean, I'm putting the stuff on. It's not that I don't trust you guys. 
It's just that I don't trust you guys. I'll do be doing donations and all of that for the items that I don't plan on keeping because um, I just don't want to like, I don't know, I'll figure it out. I just don't like, I, I don't feel good about the waste here. But anyway, it came with this card. It says, Halara, let's Halara. Hi, thanks for ordering from Halara. We hope you're excited to try on your new clothes. Halara is a Greek word that means take it easy. So let's Halara and enjoy life. Make it fun, take it easy, active wear for active minds. And then hashtag, see, mm, they want me to tag it, which I mean, that's smart. That's all branding these days. If you want to get featured on things, tagging things, all of that good marketing strategy. However, I will not be doing that because I just don't trust Talara. I just don't trust it. I see the same ad with the same skirt, co short combo, okay, that I just, I don't trust it. Anyway, let's start trying things on, shall we? They make such a big deal out of their dresses with the short bra combo that I feel like I need to start with the dresses. So I got this olive green one, okay? Let's see, can I get a materials breakdown? Oh, here we go. Nylon and spandex, 77% nylon, 23% spandex. Pockets in the shorts, so here are the pockets. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna put, I'm trying to figure out how the best way to put this on is. Obviously, I'm not gonna show you guys putting me, me putting it on because I, again, I like my channel being monetized. <laughs> it looks wide for a small, but I mean, I'll put it on. Okay, hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, so see, the problem is I'm short. Um, but anyway, it comes to about like mid thigh, I'd say like, three inches above my knee for scale. Uh, this is the small and I'm 5'2". The top is kind of annoying. Um, so I'm not showing you my tits, I swear. Um, so as you can see, there's the band here, but it's not properly placed here. So with the internal lining, I can't flip this out. So it's just folding over. So regardless of if I hold down the internal lining, it just doesn't work out that well because it's not fitting super great. There we go, okay. I have to like keep adjusting it, you know, to make sure that the band stays kind of hidden. Also, as you can see, the cups inside the bra space aren't that well fitted, but I mean, it's also that style of top, so it's just tight. Overall, it's actually kind of cute. Like I'm a little annoyed. <laughs> it flows really nicely. It's not restrictive. I was worried the shorts were gonna be like restrictive. They're not restrictive. <laughs> I realize how this looks. Here are the shorts. Um, I mean, they have pockets. They fit pretty well. I mean, all things considered. I'm wearing underwear underneath these because I, obviously. You know, I mean, it's just like, it's it's one piece. It's annoying because like, it would just be annoying if I had to go to the bathroom. I hate, like, this is why I hate wearing rompers and stuff. Cause it's like, okay, I guess I'm getting naked to use a public bathroom, you know, like, no, I don't like that. So, I mean, it could be worse. It, I like the color a lot. I really do. And it is kind of cute. I do like that these are adjustable. That's nice. The band in the front, that's just like annoying. Also the fact that it's like, can you tell that there's lining? I mean, I would assume, yeah. It's hard to tell from this angle. But yeah, overall, I mean, it's kind of cute. I kind of like it. Boom. Yeah, okay, cool, next. Okay, so as I was putting this on, I heard a seam rip. I don't know where it's where it ripped, but I heard it rip. So, I mean, it's not unattractive. I just don't think I look cute in this style. I mean, I do look definitely, I think I look slimmer, but I also feel like if I bend any which way, then like my natural like skin, whatever, small amount of body fat I currently have. I don't know what's going on. So, I mean, it's kind of cute. It's kind of nice. The back is much more detailed. I mean, this back does look more like a sports bra on top. Skirt, flowy, shorts. Let's see, do these have pockets? They do. This is another small, again, I'm 5'2". The style of the skirt, so it's like there's a seam here and it goes to the back. This is actually an interesting style of skirt. So it's like a front panel, okay? So this whole section like in the front is one panel. And then the whole back section is also one panel, I think. Yeah, and then it's like, I'm not against it. I just feel like if I had bitter, bigger boobs, like this would be better. Again, there's lining and padding inside the top. Um, yeah, I, I definitely have to keep my, my, my shoulders back. So this might do good things for my posture. 
to keep this from getting all bunched up down here. Hi guys. Yeah, I gotta go like that to keep this panel like flat. Obviously I can't pull it down. I mean, I wonder, could I feasibly, I mean, I could go to the bathroom like that. I don't think I'd want to like contort my body like that. But yeah, anyway, uh, I think this one's shorter. Oh yeah, this one's definitely shorter. The skirt is definitely shorter than the other one, as you can see. I mean, kind of cute, kind of like a nice little day dress, but I mean, also like the material. I don't know. See, this is one of those things where it's like, I would have to wash it once to see how it holds up, you know? So that's that for the dresses, it's the two dresses. This is the main style that they're promoting right now. Cause this is like their new style with the crisscross and the open back bit. And then the other one is like their well-known popular one. I got a couple of their bottoms and a couple of the skirts and I bought one of their sports bras just to try it out because their whole thing is like, we give you the same products as high-end brands at cheaper prices. And it's like your stuff's still like not cheap, but that's just me. That's their whole thing is that they're, it's the same stuff, but cheaper prices. And it's like, okay, it's all still coming from China. So unless you're using the same supply, like they're not disclosing the supplier manufacturer. So I mean, again, a seam ripped, but again, it's just, could be high, put it on, I don't know. As far as the quality of the make itself, nothing is like standing out as being like grossly, like poorly made or anything like that. Um, it's just like, like the seam ripping I told you that could be literally how I put it on or whatever. And also I don't know where the seam rip happened. Hold on, let me check without flashing the camera. I heard it up here. So I'm assuming it's somewhere in this strap, but yeah. So I'm gonna try on the sports bra first with one of the bottoms, and then I'm just gonna keep the same sports bra on while I try on the rest of the bottoms. Okay, okay. Hi, so here's the sports bra. It's more like a workout top. It's a little tight, but I'm usually a small in tops anyway, so why? So I'm usually a small in tops anyway, so it's gonna be tight, it's a sports bra. Like it's not uncomfortably tight, it's just like firm. If anything, it would help my posture, like I mentioned before, cause it's definitely more tight in the back area. I mean, yeah, it's a sports bra. Um, okay, and this skirt, uh, there's no pockets. This was just like one of the skirts that they were promoted. I can barely turn around in this cause like my ass is just hanging on by a thread. I got mediums in all the skirts. At least I think I did. Let me check, <laughs> I hate this. Hang on. So this is a medium skirt and it's this short. Again, I'm five two. It's a little high up on my hips, but also if I go lower here, let me try going a little lower on this. It's still fairly snug on me as well. This is not flattering <laughs> at this angle. Okay, hang on. Okay, so that's like literally resting on my hips, but it's not comfortable like that. So hence the higher waisted style. I mean, it's comfy. It's a waffle knit fabric of sorts. Very comfortable. It's got back pockets. Again, I cannot turn around. <laughs> it's got pockets uh, or one pocket in the back. And yeah, I mean, lounging around the house. It's super hot in LA, so I'm sure I will wear this when I don't wanna wear pants. But yeah, okay, so one skirt down. Okay, once again, these are mediums fit pretty well. They're a little snug in the crotch area. There's a uh, fabric lining like here. So it's the spandex lining with the pockets again. And then it's a short, but there's also a pocket back here, which is kind of cool. I always like that. It's not super deep. I don't know if it would hold anything more than like one car key or chapstick. I don't know. No pockets on the outside, but these are shorts. I mean, I think the angle is a little, I don't know. I feel like this could just be more flattering. Obviously I can't can I roll these down? Would that work? If it would focus. Focus on my belly button. Okay. So, I mean, rolling down the, the waistband a bit, I mean, kind of looks a little nicer. It still looks really tight in the garage. I don't think there's a way to fix that. I think that's just the way it's sewn because it's not tight on me. It's just the way the fabric is done. Like it's really, is there a way to fix that? Sewing people, I used to be one of you, but um, tell me how to fix that please. Other than that, like that visual, like discomfort that I don't like, um, it fits pretty well, fairly comfortable. This isn't too tight and it's also not loose, which I've been finding with a lot of these like mail order brands is that sometimes when you get a medium, like it's tight, but then the waistband is where it's loose. The waistband fits pretty well here. So that's nice. Again, it just looks like I'm wearing like a diaper. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, okay. But yeah, one short pair down. All right, next pair of shorts. So these are bike shorts. There's no outside pockets on this one, but there is an 
internal pocket and the waistband, which you can visibly see pretty well. As far as the fit, I mean, I've been wearing bike shorts a lot around the house lately. Like I said, it's been really hot in LA. So around my apartment, I wear bike shorts. I also wear them like this. This is what the what, five inch? They're not eight inch, I know that because they would be further down to my knee, but like this is like basically the size I usually wear. I mean, as far as the make, it's not terrible. There's a couple of loose threads, but I mean, it's not awful. Why not have pockets on the outside? Like all of my bicycle shirts that I wear now, like have pockets on the outside, you know? They're just, they're convenient, you know? There we go. See, there's the full view. Boom. Boom. So that's the last of the shorts. However, we do have uh, sweatpants that they were pushing at me pretty heavily on their website, not on the ads. So I'll show you those next. Okay, so I kind of had high hopes for these because I have been looking for sweatpants for a while that I can wear around more because I, as you guys know, I have Hermes now. He's a doggy daycare as I'm filming this, but I have Hermes now and I take them out for a lot, walks a lot. And sweatpants are just easier to throw on and take them for walks in the morning or in the evening time when I'm working at home as well than like, trying to make myself look like a human being. And so trying to find sweatpants that I like that are like comfy. And I mean, these are kind of comfortable. They're a little snug, but they're like sweatpants, like actual sweatpants. Like I'm supposed to go work out in these. They're cinched at the ankle. They're like parachute pants of sorts. I don't know what the proper wording is. The band's a little tight. I don't think I can roll these down. There's like, it's actually like a band in here. It's not just like spandex. I mean, I can roll it down. Doesn't look much better. <laughs> Here, can I make this a little... So. <laughs> okay, again, mediums. Um, little tight in the crotch area again. I don't know if that's just because I have a bit of an ass or what. Just a little bit of an ass. And that's causing the XX fabric to just go thwoop to my butt. I don't know. But it's a little annoying. Now here it looks... <laughs> So yeah, there's <laughs> Oh dear God. Okay, cool. So if I hike this up fully, I mean, all in all, could be worse. Definitely could be worse. I don't like that there's no pockets on this. Like that's a little annoying that there's no pockets. Riding it lower. I wanted these, I wanted to like these better. I'm like trying to like justify all their failings. I mean, they're just annoying more than anything like this. Not a big deal. I'm just like, if I wear them how I should wear them, then it's like, I don't know. It's just not flattering. It could just be my body shape. I'm just like a box sometimes. So let's get on with the skirts finally. Okay. We've got the tennis skirt, the dark academia, the back to school and the preppy girlies all losing their minds over these skirts because they're tennis skirts, but they have a pocket. Yay. Okay. Yeah. So here's the skirt. I mean, it's, it's a tennis skirt. Could it fit better? Yeah. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the top material. I'm assuming it's different than the bottom one. Cause it doesn't stretch literally at all, which I mean is good, but I mean, I feel like it could be a better fabric for that. Like what it is essentially. And let's see if I can find the, Oh yeah. Also the zipper is a little annoying. So if your leg is bunched up like at all, you definitely can tell on the outside because it's the zipper is stitched into or connected at least to the spandex. It's a little annoying because if you have it pulled down too low, also it puckers. I don't know if it's showing up because this is black, but I mean, it's short in the back, but I mean, that's just how my body is, I think. Also, I mean, I'm wearing shorts underneath. <laughs> so who has to worry about that? But yeah, the outside material, I don't know. I feel like it could be maybe different. It just feel, it feels cheap because it's not stretchy. I'm assuming it's just the polyester and or nylon and it's not the spandex, just like without the spandex added in because it's really not stretchy. But I mean, it just looks cheap. So I mean, honestly, a different style of fabric on the top layer would probably be better. This is also a medium. Like I said, all the bottoms are medium. So again, I'm wearing medium bottoms, but I'm also fairly tiny. So if you are usually wear a medium, I would say maybe go a little larger. I just find that like my safety spot with bottoms is usually mediums. And then my safety spot with tops is usually smalls because though I have boobies, 
they're not that big. This fabric just like doesn't, like it wrinkles fairly easily. So I mean, for a skirt, not ideal, especially if like you're wearing this literally anywhere else. It's also bunching right at the waistband. I don't know if it's gonna show up. It's bunching right at the waistband and there's no way for me to fix that because it's like near the lining. So it's not like I can't pull down the shorts and I can't pull down this because it doesn't stay down. Like it's literally just over like my little, my little baby belly. <laughs> That's what's doing it. Oh God, you guys are gonna think I'm pregnant. Not baby as in like, I'm carrying a baby. Baby as in like, I have a little bit of a tummy. Like that's, <laughs> no one's been near my vagina. <laughs> anyway. So before I talk about this skirt, let me tell you about the materials for this. So this says that the outer layer is 92% polyester and 8% spandex. And then the lining is once again, 82% nylon and 18% spandex. I just feel like polyester is not the way to go with this. I feel like a different material or even like less spandex, would that have made it look less cheap? I don't know. That's just, I'm letting you know what it says. Anyway, I kind of love this berry skirt, kind of love it. So it's multiple pieces. So there's this front flap and then the back flap. And then this crisscrosses in the front. This could be a little snugger, like it probably could fit better. But overall, it's kind of cute. Like it's kind of like I kind of like it a lot. Like, is it short? Yes, but I'm wearing shorts underneath. OK, <laughs> like, I don't know where I would wear this. Like, I'd probably wear like, OK, think like a white T-shirt or like a like even like not a sports bra, but like a gray T-shirt, like a dark charcoal gray T-shirt. And then this skirt, you would be like, oh, my God, who is she? Why is she walking like a gremlin or like a crab? I don't know. But like, you'd probably be like, oh my God, what's that? Is that a skirt? Oh wait, she's gonna flash us. No, she's not. She's wearing shorts. Boom. Okay, anyway, it's got pockets. <laughs> Why is Amanda single? Well, <laughs> I'm hoping none of you actually asked that question. I feel like it's like self-explanatory. But I mean, yeah, the spandex underneath, the usual, you know, it's the, they fit pretty well. Again, this is medium as well. The band in the waist, again, could be a little tighter, but it's not too bad as far as like the looseness. It's just the way that it's made. Maybe if this was like secured somehow, cause it really is just like folded flap of fabric and then stitched together like as a waistband, which isn't bad. I just think if there was maybe a little bit more structure to it, it would probably fit a little bit better cause it's stitched here and then stitched around the back. And then that's where the fold happens is in the front. So, I mean, probably could have a little bit more structure. It would probably fit a little bit better. But all in all, not too bad on this skirt. Kind of like it a lot. Kind of not sure where I'm gonna wear it, but I'm gonna figure it out. Anyway, that's everything. So all in all, as far as Halara goes, um, I hope they stop giving me uh, advertisements because it's getting annoying. And by getting, I mean it was annoying like a week ago. Um, although now since I bought this through one of those ads, <laughs> I'm, I'm brilliant, clearly. I've been doing this for two years now this type of content or three years now. Oh God, it's almost 2022. Eh, time is a black hole. Anyway, I've been doing this type of content for long enough now that I should know to like exit the browser, go to a different device, then order the items. But no, I ordered it through TikTok. So now they're thinking that, oh, she, cool. She does order through these brands. <laughs> so um, I started getting Shop Cider, which is another drop shipping company that's definitely probably drop shipping Cider. Don't order from them either. Like there's a very high chance you're gonna get a super long wait time. Could be worse, could be better. Um, some of the things I didn't love, but I also, you know, didn't hate all of them. Some of the stitching is just like not my cup of tea, but I mean, someone who is like a different body type or got a different size would probably like it a lot more than me. Would I buy from this again? No, I don't think what I got is worth the pricing that I paid for it. And I got a lot of discounts from mine because of Labor Day sales and the like. Overall, is it worth the uh, 9,000 ads I got on TikTok? No, but nothing is, okay? A um, Couple items I like, like I do like the sports bra the sports top. I do like this a lot. Um, I think once I take the tag off and actually like go on my hikes with it, with like Hermes, like I'll be like, um, people will be like, oh my God, who is she? She's so LA. Like it's gonna be, like it's kind of cute. I kind of like it. I like the structure. And yeah, the actual like lining, I think could be a little better on all the items, but also could be worse. If you wanna wear skirts with shorts underneath them, go for it. I know tennis skirts and that, that's a whole thing, but like still, like if, I don't really wanna see you running in a skirt, but like that's your choice. Outdoor Voices is another workout company that has like workout hiking dresses and things like that. I think that's ideally better. Ideally, ideally. I don't even think that was the word I was going for. 
I'm so deep sleep deprived. That's what's going on. That's why Hermes is a doggy daycare because I couldn't go through the stress of cleaning my apartment, filming, making sure he wasn't eating my ankles and the clothes that I was trying on while making sure he wasn't also eating all my computer cords. So <laughs> that's why he's a doggy daycare right now while I film this. There was something else I was going to say. I don't remember what it is, so that's going to be it. Have you ever shopped at Halara? Are you also getting six jillion ads on Holara on TikTok? Are you seeing their ads anywhere else? I literally have seen their ads nowhere else other than TikTok, but it's like the same four ads and it's driving me nuts. Let me know, comment down below. Don't forget, I also have the Swell Shenanigans podcast, new episodes every Wednesday. So that'll be linked down below. I also have merch down below. Boom, boom, boom. Shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. If you could also like some more on Patreon, that'll be listed down below. If you'd like to follow me on all my social media, that'll be all up here. And that's gonna be it. Have a lovely day. Goodbye. Like I'm kind of excited to work out, that's no joke. But like also I'm still on the hunt for like good sweatpants. So any suggestions for sweatpants companies, let me know. Thank you. Ali, Alan, Alexis, Burden, Cameron, Christopher, Chris, Cody, Colton, Crash, PC, Destiny, Devin, Dirty One, Don, Elliot, Evan, Feckles, Hopeless, Hollow, Jucka, Ray, Joe, John, M, George, Joseph, Kenny, Kevin, Kim, Kristen, Lex, Lamb, Lisa, Luis, Manga, Matt, Matt, O, Matthew, S, Meme, Lord, The Red, Michael, Michael, J, Name, Nathaniel, Pat, Penn, Prolic, Rob, Robert, Ross, Sam, Skylar, Simon, Tasha, Timothy, Tom, Wendy, Williams, Zendry.